guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am sharing a haul from Salt Mountain Melts. Here is the information. I will, of course, leave it all below as I always do. If you guys would like to check that out, or I guess information, I should have said business card. There's a business card. And Amanda also included a candy, and this is the apple zots, which are like the fizzing, like they fizz in your mouth candy. So that was awesome. Always exciting to get a little extra treat in your wax orders. So I decided this time around to do something that I now regret, and that is to get small quantities, which I always do that. I always go, I need to save money. I'll order smaller. And then I just get souffles and I'll get them home. And I'm like, oh, I should have ordered that in a loaf. And that 100% happened. I actually just watched Ashley's video and I commented that I wish I had gotten um, one of these in a loaf because I was like, oh, man, I just, I, I regret it big time, which that is just, you know, all of us waxies, we all do that. I feel like we get an order and then we go, oh, I should have got that in a larger size. So that is life. Anyway, I'm going to jump right in. So this first one here is Sweet 16, which is really hard to read the, the notes on that, but let me get up close and personal here. This is Cherry Birthday Cake and Sugar Cookie. And Amanda does cherry and strawberry, in my opinion, really well, I think. In fact, you guys know I love, love, love cherry. So she has, or had at least in this go around, so many cherry scents available. So I was just like in cherry heaven. This smells delicious. This is a very sweet, stra ugh, not strawberry, very sweet cherry, almost a candied cherry to me. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like a cherry blow pop, a little bit, but mixed with the birthday cake and sugar cookie, I would say the sugar cookie is stronger to me. If anything, it's like the frosting of the birthday cake that's coming out more to my nose very girly kind of reminds me this is you oh my gosh if amanda is watching this she's gonna laugh pretty hard because it kind of smells a little bit again like um nostalgic in the sense where it reminds me a little bit of a my um my little pony scent and i said that about what was a patisserie also kind of reminded me of like a my little pony scent but not in like a plasticky way it just reminds me of like the sweet kind of childhood cherry or like the sweet that kind of sweetness so it's really really nice and um yeah definitely very girl like a very girly type scent definitely fits the name um i put that upside down this one here is in sunny days which is so pretty i love that orange wax color notes are orange sherbet lemon curd and cotton candy and here's i don't know if you guys saw that label as another beautiful label and to my nose this is orange forward, very orange. There is a creaminess from the sherbet, but the lemon mixing with the orange is makes it very citrus forward. It is definitely like more of the sweet lemon. It's not like a bitter or tart lemon by any means, but it is a orange lemon heavy scent. I don't get any of the cotton candy just on cold sniff. Of course, like cotton candy, I've said this a million times, it's like really hard to detect, especially if you put like, you know, heavier scents in it. However, the cotton candy might be there to kind of help tone down the sharpness that you can get from citrus scents. So that could be what's happening there. Either way, this is a really nice, perfect for summer type of scent. I picked up Sunday Shop, which is Ashley's favorite out of her order. And she, she had such a funny reaction for this. So notes on Sunday Shop are um, strawberry pound cake, waffle cone, and vanilla ice cream. And I love that cute little ice cream cone on this souffle cup here. This is awesome. I really can smell that vanilla ice cream. And I did not expect that I would smell it quite as strongly as I am. It just smells like the most delicious strawberry pound cake blended with like a creamy vanilla ice cream, like a soft serve vanilla ice cream specifically. That's what it smells like to me. Um, there is a strawberry pound cake sundae at a local ice cream shop around us. 
and this smells like that. So if you guys are wondering like the realisticness, yeah, it, like it literally smells just like that. Um, the waffle cone, I, I don't know if I'm getting a ton of waffle cone right now. Eh, maybe, but it's definitely not the strongest thing. I would say the ice cream, like the creamy ice cream mixed with the strawberry pound cake, it just, like Ashley did say this, it like just heightens that amazing strawberry pound cake scent and it 100% does. This one is amazing. Really, really happy and excited for that one. This one is a backyard bash, which is strawberry cream cheese frosting, twisted pretzel and whipped cream. And whipped cream, I should say. This one is super pretty, I love this. And also the label on this, I mean, come on, that's a cute label. So Backyard Bash is a scent that Amanda has had out before. In fact, it's one of, I think like one of the older scents from her. And I, I know Ashley didn't like this. I do like this one. I'm not totally against this. I can detect, I mean, the pretzel is 100% there, but mixed with the strawberry. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I think that the pretzel is definitely more of a pretzel rod versus like a yeasty pretzel, which I'm totally fine with because I'm not always like keen on the yeastiness and I'm not picking up any yeastiness in this. It definitely smells like, um, so if you guys know like the very small like pretzel sticks and then like the big pretzel rods, this smells like one of the big pretzel rods where it's like very crunchy in the middle. And it's like if you dipped a pretzel rod that large size into a um, strawberry cream cheese. That's what this smells like to me. Like the kind of strawberry cream cheese that you would get from like, what is the name of that brand that everyone uses the, the cream cheese brand? You guys know what I'm talking about. That's what this smells like. Um, I am not, I mean, it's not like my favorite standout of, of the order. However, I think when I, when I melt it, it might be really nice. And I also feel like this one would lend itself to be blended really nicely with um, the marshmallow cake. And this is, I'm gonna talk, save this one, one for last, but I feel like this one kind of would pair nicely with any of these. And I am kicking myself for not getting a loaf in this one because I feel like it would have been a perfect blender set. Um, and especially in this, I feel like it would have kind of just kind of help cream it maybe even more, like make it a little bit sweeter because I feel like the heavier note in this is actually the pretzel, which is surprising. So anyway, so that <laughs> that one is that. Not like my favorite favorite, but not, def I don't think, I think I like it more than Ashley's, which is funny, because I was like watching her reaction. She's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, so moving on to bumming in Hawaii. So this one is the, or I guess booming, I, but it's bumming in Hawaii, but it's the Bum Bum Sol de Janeiro or Boom Boom Cream um, and mixed with Hawaiian Punch. Oh, that's not focusing. There you go, Hawaiian Punch. So this one is super, super nice. I can 100% 100 smell the body care aspect from like that cream mixed with a subtle hint of fruitiness from the Hawaiian Punch. I thought that this one would be way more fruit dominant. Like the Hawaiian punch is, I think, a pretty strong scent, but it's not. Amanda did a freaking great job. Sorry. Amanda did a great job blending this. Um, yeah, really, really nice. It's a super girly. It kind of reminds me of if you were, if you would just put on a bunch of the boom, boom cream and you were like laying out on a like a lawn chair and you were drinking Hawaiian punch. It really just kind of smells like that. It's really nice. I like this one quite a lot. A perfect summertime scent. And then finally, my favorite for last, I have marshmallow cake, which that label, come on, that is the cutest little thing. This is sweet, creamy vanilla cake and gooey marshmallows. And Oh, like I said, totally regretting not getting more of this scent because I think it is such a great blender scent. I did try the strawberry marshmallow cake and I loved it and it was so yummy. And this one is just marshmallow cake. I am going to try to get more of this. Um, wish me luck today. I highly doubt I will be able to, but this one is so, so yummy. It just smells like the most creamy, authentic, melted, but not like toasted melted, just like a melted 
marshmallow cream. Think of like, um, what is it called? Like the fluff, marshmallow fluff. Kind of smells like that with a very fluffy, rich, um, cake, like a white, specifically like a white fluffy cake. Ah, it smells so good. I love this one. I really, really, really love this one. Totally kicking myself for not getting more. Like I said, gonna try to get some more. Highly doubt I'll be able to because those things go fast. Um, but yeah, this one is awesome and I'm very impressed with this for sure. My favorite out of the whole order. But as always, I'm really happy with this order and I just love it all. I just, uh, I love the strawberries. I love the fruits. I love the cherries. Um, this is upside down. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, just super impressed. And I will leave the information in the bio below. And I think, so today there is a ready to ship sale, which I'm going to try to snag up more of this. Highly doubt I'll be able to, because like I said, it goes fast. But I will leave the next sale in that description so you guys are up to date. That next sale is going to be a pre-order, but Amanda's pre-orders are not like your typical pre-orders. And then this time around, she is limiting two of each shape, or I guess, I don't know how to say this. Um, she's limiting, so like you can only get one loaf and one souffle, or like two loaves or two souffles of like each scent, just to kind of help make sure that somebody's not getting like 1,000 souffle cups of like one cent and then nobody else can really get it. She's just trying to make it like an even playing field, which I totally understand and appreciate because you know, some people go crazy and stock up on like one specific scent. And I, I also get that because you know, if you love it, you love it, but it can make it hard for anyone else to get it. So she's just trying to be as mindful about that as possible. And I think her husband also like just like injured his leg or something. So he can't help out as much as he would. So um, yeah, kind of can't do like the unlimited like she did last time with this, but that's fine by me. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have an awesome day, night, morning, whatever time you're watching this. And I hope you take care. Bye guys.